You know, today's violence puts an added focus on safety at all political events. At the same time as the Trump rally, Indiana Democrats were meeting for their convention here in Indy. Our Marina Silva talked to people there about the violence today. She's live at the convention center tonight. So Marina, what did they have to say? Well, Jenny, more than a thousand delegates were here at the convention center. Now, while their meeting was never interrupted, the delegates were actually casting their votes for their candidate as this news was coming in. Now, we did not see any extra security while we were here at the convention, but many did start looking at their phones and trying to figure out what was going on. As the news of the attempted assassination was coming in, delegates were voting. One of the ones I spoke with as she was leaving says she was surprised. It's really very devastating to hear any kind of violence goes for any political candidate. It's 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 devastating and I think the whole room felt very heavy. There is no room for political violence. There's no room for violence in political discourse on any side. So, you know, it's unfortunate it happened. The Republican candidate for governor and current U.S. Senator Mike Braun posted a message on X. He wrote, pray for President Trump, his family, and our country. Indiana's other U.S. Senator Tong, Todd Young also tweeted, calling the rally in Pennsylvania a, quote, terrifying scene and praying that calmness will prevail. Indi That seems to be spinning out of control in our political discourse. He says, quote, no form of violence is acceptable in our streets, in our classrooms, in our American democracy. Hogsett also prayed for Trump and the other victims. And Fisher's mayor, Scott Fadness, released a statement saying, quote, our country better. Now, of course, many more local leaders are continuing to weigh in, and we have a full roundup of all of their statements on WTHR.com. Back to you in the studio, Jenny. I'm Marina Silva. Yeah, so many people condemning the violence, including here in Indiana. All right, Marina, thank you. Meanwhile, Trump's vice president and former Indiana governor Mike Pence posted a short message on X tonight saying, quote, Karen and I are praying for President Trump and urge every American to join us. We will continue to stay on top of this story tonight on air and online. You can always find the latest developments at WTHR.com. We will bring you the updates tomorrow as well on 13 Sunrise starting at 7 a.m.